is a very proud day for me. I look back with fond memories to my beautiful daughters growing up. And I must say both Emma, the maid of honour, and Hannah, the bride, look stunning. It strikes me that Hannah and George have somewhat similar characters, although I will admit George is just a touch quieter at times. <laughs> Where they differ, they tend to complement each other, which I think holds great promise for their future as partners together. I would like, if I may, to give George some advice on married life that's always served me well. Arguments will happen. Uh, I think it's important that the husband stands up to this and has the final word. The final two, in fact. This has always worked very well for me as long as those final two words are yes, dear. <laughs> Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the Burley Manor Hotel, a beautiful setting here in the heart of the New Forest on this very special occasion for George and Hannah. This ring. As a sign of my love and commitment to you. As a sign of my love and commitment to you. I promise to always be there for you. I promise to always be there for you. To hold and protect you. To hold and protect you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and commitment to you. As a sign of my love and commitment to you. I promise to always be there for you. I promise to always be there for you. To hold and protect you. To hold and protect you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. So it is my very great pleasure to announce you are now husband and wife to George. We'd like to see that sealed with a kiss, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mrs. Thompson. Now, in every man's life comes that one defining moment when he meets the right person. The person he knows he will spend the rest of his life with someone by his side, um, and, and they'll be for, uh, together through the good times and the bad. For George, this was the 16th of April, 2014. This was the day, of course, he met me. <laughs> Hannah was bringing over a new boyfriend to me, Emma and I, and from previous experience, we weren't holding much hope. <laughs> then in walked George, holding a family share size bag of crisps and four cans of Pepsi Max. We hit it off straight away, <laughs> laughing, joking, talking about football. Well, I done most of the talking, he mainly responded in grunts and head nods. <laughs> but this new friendship was quickly put to the test, as I casually leaned over and took one of George's Doritos. Time seemed to stand still. <laughs> George stared at me with pure anger and hatred in his eyes as I crunched into what I now know was his own personal snack. That's the moment I realised George does not share food. <laughs> they met on Tinder, which is a good thing for George because Hannah doesn't know her left from her right. <laughs> All jokes aside, Hannah and George are really made for each other and we should be thankful that we've all been included in this amazing day. The thought and effort that has been put in is truly incredible 
and it will be a day you look back on with fond memories for years to come. But today is also a sad day. For men all around the world, the Hannah is now officially off the market. And for the women of the world, it's probably just a regular day. <laughs> Never forget the morning of Sunday 9th of March 2014, the day after my 25th birthday. I received the best birthday present I've ever had, as I found out an absolutely stunning girl with the hair of a lioness had swiped right on Tinder. So I knew that I needed to make an effort with Hannah as my parents had wanted me out of the house for several years. <laughs> so a week later I met up with Hannah for the first time and then that evening I stupidly introduced her to all of the lads. I'm surprised she didn't dump me at the time. Um, it didn't take me long to realise that she was the one for me despite her love for watching Hollyoaks at the time. But I learned quickly that she was a good driver, could cut my hair, she loves monkeys. But what re really did it for me at the time was I realised that she can bake some amazing cakes. <laughs> so thank you Hannah for all your efforts in putting together our big day. Your preparation has been outstanding and you should take most of the credit for what's turned out to be an incredible day. I'm sure you'll all agree how stunning she looks today. Yeah. Nothing could have prepared me for what I saw when you walked down the aisle. So thank you for marrying and making me the proudest man in the world. Uh. So having spent five years and nine months of my life with you, I can't describe how happy I am to now call you my wife. It's been the best time of my life with you and I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my days by your side. I love you to bits. Thank you.